4 Army 3-inch gun C3 inch M1918 gun the 350 caliber gun in United States naval gun terminology indicates the gun fired a projectile 3 inches in diameter and the barrel was 50 calibers long different guns of this caliber were used by the U S Navy and U S Coast Guard from 1890 through the 1990s on a variety of combatant and transport ship classes. Early low angle guns. The U.S. Navy's first 350 caliber gun was an early model with a projectile velocity of 2,100 feet per second. Low angle mountings for this gun had a range of 7,000 yards at the maximum elevation of 15 degrees. The gun entered service around 1900 with the Bainbridge class destroyers and was also fitted to Connecticut class battleships. Ships. By World War II these guns were found only on a few Coast Guard cutters and defensively equipped merchant ships. Low angle 350 caliber guns were originally mounted on ships built from the early 1900s through the early 1920s and were carried by submarines, auxiliaries, and merchant ships during the Second World War. These guns fired the same 2,700 feet per second ammunition used by the following dual-purpose marks, but with range limited by the maximum elevation of the mounting. These were built-up guns with a tube, partial-length jacket, hoop and vertical sliding breech block. Dual-purpose guns of the World Wars Dual-purpose 350 caliber guns first entered service in 1915 as a refit to US Texas and were subsequently mounted on many types of ships as the need for anti-aircraft protection was recognized. During World War II, they were the primary gun armament on destroyer escorts, patrol frigates, submarine chases, minesweepers some fleet submarines, and other auxiliary vessels, and were used as a secondary dual-purpose battery on some other types of ships, including some older battleships. They also replaced the original low-angle 450 caliber guns on flush deck. Wicks and Clemson class destroyers to provide better anti-aircraft protection. The gun was also used on specialist destroyer conversions. The AVD seaplane tender conversions received two guns, the APD high-speed transports, DM mine layers, and DMS minesweeper conversions received three guns, and those retaining destroyer classification received six. These dual-purpose guns were quick firing meaning that they used fixed ammunition with powder case and projectile permanently attached and handled as a single unit weighing 34 pounds the shells alone weighed about 13 pounds including an explosive bursting charge of 0.81 pounds for anti-aircraft rounds or 1.27 pounds for high capacity rounds the remainder of the weight being the steel casing Maximum range was 14,600 yards at 45 degrees elevation and ceiling was 29,800 feet at 85 degrees elevation. Useful life expectancy was 4,300 effective full charges per barrel. Cold War Anti-Aircraft Gun When multiple hits from a Lycon 20mm cannon and Bofors 40mm guns were unable to prevent kamikaze strikes during the final year of the Second World War, the 350 was adapted as a replacement for these weapons. Post-war experimentation with an extended range variant was abandoned as shipboard surface-to-air missiles were developed. The United States Navy considered contemporary 538 caliber guns and 554 caliber guns more effective against surface targets. The 350 caliber gun was a semi-automatic anti-aircraft weapon with a power-driven automatic loader. These mono-block 3 inches guns were fitted to both single and twin mountings. The single was to be exchanged for a twin 40 millimeters anti-aircraft gun mount.
mount and the twin for a quadruple 40mm mount. This was performed on Essex-class aircraft carriers, summer and gearing-class destroyers and other ships circa 1946-50. Although intended as a one-for-one -one replacement for the 40mm mounts, the final version of the new 3-inch mounts was heavier than expected, and on most ships the mounts could be replaced only on a two-for-three basis. The mounts were of the dual-purpose open base ring type. The right and left gun assemblies were identical in the twin mounts. The mounts used a common power drive that could train at a rate of 30 degree per second and elevate from 15 degrees to 85 degrees at a rate of 24 degree per second. The cannon was fed automatically from an on-mount magazine which was replenished during action by two loaders on each side of the cannon, with proximity fuse and fire control radio. A dual 350 mount firing 50 rounds per minute per barrel was considered more effective than a quad Bofors 40mm gun against subsonic aircraft, but relatively ineffective against supersonic jets and cruise missiles. Destroyers that were modernized during the fleet rehabilitation and modernization program of the 1960s had the 3 inch guns removed, but others retained them. In 1992, the US CGC Storis 350 caliber main battery was removed from the cutter. This was supposedly the last 350 caliber gun in service aboard any US warship, but US Navy Charleston class amphibious cargo ships still retained the forward mounts until the last of the ships. US El Paso was decommissioned in 1994. The gun is still in service, however, on some warships of the Philippine Navy, including BRP Raja Humabon, formerly US Atherton. The 17 Asheville class gunboats mounted a single 350 MKA 34 as the primary armament. Ships mounting 350 caliber guns, World War I, Bainbridge class destroyers, Chester class cruisers. Connecticut-class battleships, Indiana-class battleships, Mississippi-class battleships, Nevada-class battleships, New York-class battleships, Paulding-class destroyers, Pennsylvania-class battleships, Pennsylvania-class cruisers, R-class submarines, St. Louis-class cruciers, Smith-class destroyers, South Carolina-class battleships, Tennessee-class cruisers, Truxton-class destroyers, Virginia-class battleships, World War II Admirable-class minesweepers, Buckley-class destroyer escorts, Cachalot-class submarines, Cannon-class destroyer escorts, Edsel-class destroyer escorts, Evarts-class destroyer escorts, Gato-class submarines, Mackerel-class submarines, Omaha-class cruisers, Porpoise-class submarines, Salmon-class submarines, Sargo-class submarines, Tacoma-class frigates, Tambor-class submarines, Post-World War II, Des Moines-class cruisers, Worcester-class cruisers, Astuno, Ashtabula-class oiler, Midway-class aircraft carriers, Essex-class aircraft carriers, Baltimore-class cruisers, Fletcher-class destroyers, Allen M. Sumner-class destroyers, Gearing-class destroyers, Terrebonne Parish-class tank landing ships, Denebola-class stores ships, Neosho-class oilers, Dealey class destroyer escorts, Thomaston class dock landing ships, Rigel class stores ships, Forrest Sherman class destroyers, Astulari, Shuribachi class ammunition ships, DeSoto County class tank landing ships, Clark Jones class destroyer escorts, Koontz class frigates, Iwo Jima class amphibious assault ships, Uspain Bridge, Lehi class cruisers, Raleigh class amphibious transport docks, Bronstein class frigates, Mars class combat stores ships, Simon Lake class submarine tenders, 
Belknap class cruisers, Sacramento class fast combats aboard ships, Austin class amphibious transport docks, US Truxton, Guardian class radar picket ships, Charleston class amphibious cargo ships, Kilo Weir class ammunition ships, Wichita class replenishment oilers, Anchorage class dock landing ships, Newport class tank landing ships, Blue Ridge class command ships, St. Laurent class destroyers, Restigouche class destroyers, Mackenzie class destroyers, Annapolis class destroyers.